New Jersey Governor Chris Christie a possible contender for the 2016 presidency? Question mark. Well, our recent data nationally show that he's got a pretty good cross appeal as it stands now, not only to his Republicans, but also to independents and Democrats. And that's always a good sign if one's trying to run for national office. Look at the numbers there, 52% overall, 58 among Republicans, but 52 among Democrats and 50 among independents. That eight-point spread between independents and Republicans and the six-point spread between Democrats and Republicans is small. A lot of politicians on the national scene have a huge gulf between the way that Republicans and Democrats look at them, but not Chris Christie at this point. He's remarkably popular across the board. His name ID has gone up. It was 49% when we first measured him back in 2011. Now it's up to 72%, the number of people who have an opinion about Christie. And during that time period, his favorable numbers have gone up, while his unfavorable numbers have actually slipped by a point or two. So all in all, things looking pretty good for the governor at this point. He's in the news, of course, because he's running for re-election this fall. He's way ahead in all polling in New Jersey. In fact, a lot of observers think the issue for Christie in November will not be whether or not he wins in New Jersey, but by the margin he wins. The bigger the margin, uh, the better the platform for him if he wants to run in 2016. Also, he's having to deal with the aftermath of the death of one of New Jersey's two senators, Democrat Frank Lautenberg. Christie's decided to call a special election to fill that seat in October of this year, and that's created a mild controversy, but we'll see what the impact of that is. Bottom line at the moment, nationally, Governor Christie of New Jersey, fairly well known and also getting pretty good favorable numbers, not only from Republicans, but also from Democrats. I'm Dr. Frank Newport, Gallup Editor-in-Chief.